in my mind for a while and today I'm making it happen. So what I'm doing is I'm using Recollections paper collection. They're the, the A4 pack of paper that you get and it comes in like, um, I think there's five or six different colours in the pack. And so I'm just using plain paper, no patterns, no nothing. What I wanted to do is create a page for, um, that's my daughter's hand helping me here because this was giving me grief. Um, and I wanted to create a page that just used the basic tools, no electronic equipment, no, you know, cricket or, or anything like that. I just wanted to be able to do an old school basic page. That's what I wanted to do. Something that you can easily recreate at your place. So what I decided to do was pull out one of my border punches. Now I did have a bit of a play with a couple of them. I do have a silicon mat down underneath my... So what you can see underneath me is I have several mats. I have my... I have a non-slip mat underneath my pink grid mat. Then I have my Teflon white mat. That just helps my camera focus more on what I'm doing. I'm just waffling while we go through cutting these strips. Now, um, and then on top of that, I have a silicon mat. So some of you may have seen on previous videos where I cut up a blue one and I've actually put the silicon mat I've glued it underneath my inking station that I use, the, my tray when I'm using inks. So it grabs onto the desk. So I only need one hand to use to get my ink off my ink pad. Um, now, this pink one is exactly the same. It's just a silicon mat. I got them from Craft Online and they work a treat they that punch didn't move like it stayed put it was really good so what I do now is as you can see I didn't end up using the green green one there's one that's like bright green I didn't use that so I cut these all into strips now because it's a border punch obviously it was still connected so I just ran my trimmer up the edge just so I ended up with strips because I wanted to create a repetitive pattern in a long straight strip. That's what I had in my head. Now, um, I've seen, obviously I've got my inspiration from somewhere. I have seen other ones done on, on crickets or silhouettes or whatever. I wanted to make this simple so you could recreate it at home yourself. So I'm using black and white photos. So I've made all my photos black and white. So that gave me the freedom to use whatever color palette I wanted to use. I'm currently cutting down my black cardstock and my white cardstock. So anyone new, I still currently scrap 11 and a half by 12. Now these are my swatches for my shimmers products that I don't have a lot of them. I have some, not a lot. I do really like them. They are really, really good. They're probably not, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, they are not something I reach for all the time because just, I don't know, I, I just forget that they're there, I think. They're not... They're not one of the mediums that I have right in front of my face all the time, whereas my inks are. So this is where I'm just having a little bit of a play. How am I going to put these photos? I have the two Instagram frames with my kids in them. And then I have the photos of all those. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are you scrapbooking a donut? This is not any ordinary donut. For anyone in Australia and or Southeast Queensland... Kenilworth Bakery is known for its big things. 
So <laughs> they have giant donuts. They have, this is a cream filled one kilo donut. And before anyone panics, between the five of us, we didn't finish it. However, if you look in one of the photos, you can see behind my children that there is actually plates and they're all over the walls, all over everywhere at Kenilworth Bakery and they actually have written on them. They're like charger plates basically, um, which is like a resin plate that goes underneath your normal plate. Those and they have names on them. And these are people that have managed to consume an entire one kilo donut. Like, I, it blows my mind that anyone could do that. Okay, so here I am mixing together. I need to top up my little spray bottle. Um, I've mixed together Shimmers, Tickle Me Turquoise, Creamies, Boogie Board and Blue, and Bling's Pixie Dust. So... Actually, the pixie dust, I put that on last. That's the white that's got lots of grit to it. Um, all I'm trying to do here, and I'm using a small brush. I know, it seems counterintuitive. You'd think I'd use something else. But um, I wanted it to be stripy and about the same thickness as the cutouts that I've just done. Because I wanted some metallic on there because these papers are very matte. So I wanted to add a little bit of bling into the corner. And originally I was thinking of sort of doing... Every time I've seen this done, it kind of... It's in a circle or it's in a sort of a rainbow spray. I wanted to do it coming from the corner and sort of fanning out. That's... So that's where my head was going with that. Um, I did do a few little sprinkles and I did that before I bought any photos out because, well, if you know, you know, if I pick up something to do sprinkles, guaranteed, I will get them all over my photos. So, yes. So Kenilworth Bakery is, if you're local, it is, they make the most beautiful bakery food. It is a bit of a drive. So what we actually did is we made a day of it and we went out there. We had morning tea. We did not finish the donut. <laughs> um, even with three adults and two children, we could not finish it. Um, and we went for a, a drive. We just, we enjoy going for family drives and we were out in the country and geez, it felt good to just let go. This was back in January 2019. So since then, they've had other giant foods that you can order. If you are planning on going and doing this, you do need to order your one kilo donut before you go. Um, they are made to order. So if you're planning on going, which I recommend, highly recommend, it is beautiful. It is a wonderful drive. There is so many places to shop out there, like local, supporting local. It is, yeah, it was beautiful. And it was beautiful countryside, getting out in the fresh air. It was awesome. And there will be a follow-up video to this because I actually took photos for the rest of our trip that we did that day as well. And... Um, so there will be another video coming and I'll let you know when those, you know, it was the same day. So here I am just adding these. Initially, I thought, what have I done with the, the shimmers? I've gone too far with the shimmers. But what I've learned, and this is a piece of advice I'd love to give everybody because I'm learning this slowly, very, very slowly, but... What I'm learning is, if you think, oh, what have I done? Just put a bit more on. Don't glue it down. Just audition it in a spot. Just put a bit more on. And because that's, that's the rule that I applied to this, once I added a few more on, it started to come together. 
and that's when I went, oh no, it is going to work. It is going to do what I wanted it to do. Um, gluing them down. Now, that's not as easy as you think. I did struggle with it a little, <laughs> a little bit because every time I pressed it with my finger, the glue would come through the hole. But you know what? That's crafting. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not. So this particular page, um, I have had stuck in my head for a few days and I had these, I printed these photos out. I think I printed them out on Monday and today's Thursday. I had, I sat down and printed a stack of photos out. So yeah, it comes together and it's not too bad. And the bonus to today is this video is probably, I don't even know what day this video is going up, but um, it's not freezing cold today. It's only 20 degrees, but Celsius for all my other worldly peeps out there. Um, 20 degrees Celsius here in Queensland is still pretty chilly. I have a jumper on and I still have my jeans and shoes and socks, etc. Um, yeah. So I tried putting the glue along the strips once I got onto the top part of it. Now, don't stress about that bottom corner because it's okay. I come along and I fix this. But I'm absolutely loving the way that looks, the way it's fanning out and you can only see a little bit of the metallic through and being on the black, it really stands out and it pops. So don't be afraid to try the idea that you have in your head. Don't be afraid to try the fact that you could use it on black, brown. I could have done this on brown. I could have... Um, I do have a bit of an idea with the other photos and that's, yeah, it's nothing like, so the other photos for the day will not be scrapped anything like this one. But this is a page that I wanted to give you the opportunity to possibly use your border punches. If you don't have border punches, you might have um, the decorative scissors. Remember years ago, I do have some of those. Um... Actually, I have quite a few of those. <laughs> um, that's a good way of getting different patterns and edges cut on your paper. You could do that. You're not going to have the holes in them, but that's okay. It's You'll get the same effect. And if you don't have shimmers, you might have um, some mica powders. You could mix some mica powder in some glue and that will give you the shimmer as well. And you could do that. You could use a Posca metallic marker. You could do, uh, I did do a review on some metallic markers from Kmart. They were only $3 for a three pack. Silver, gold and bronze, you could use those and maybe rule some straight lines behind some other bits and pieces that you, you know, your pieces that you put on top, you could do that. So I like to, I want to try and give you as many ideas so you have inspiration. Now I will do the dirty, I will air my dirty laundry right here, right now. If you haven't subscribed, it's super, super, super important to do that for the channel. I'm not trying to, I'm not here to make money. That is not why I'm on YouTube. I'm on here because I want to meet people and I want to inspire people to create with paper. That is why I'm here. And I I do this as a full-time, I'm a homemaker. So I stay at home. I'm lucky enough that my amazing husband works full-time. So that being said, I am in a very, very privileged position to be able to scrapbook five days a week and bring you as much content as humanly possible. So I try and get one, if not two videos done a day. Uh, depends how technical I want to make it. This was my second video for the day on this one. And... I also don't edit out a heap of the content. 
So what I actually do on my channel is I speed it up and I minimize. Occasionally I have to cut a little bit, especially if it's repetitive. So punching out all those strips, I've only left a small portion. It did take me about an hour and a half to punch all of them out. Now, I did cut that right back because I'm using a punch. It's not that hard. It's not, you know, it's not rocket science and I don't think it makes for very exhilarating viewing, so to speak. Um, so that's why I trimmed that bit out. Now, these strips that I'm using, they are my new favourite thing. <laughs> They took uh, about three months to get here. I ordered them and they are the stickiest. They are so, they have so much adhesive on them. These things aren't moving any time in the next century. I'm telling you now. Wow. Um, they, they, oh, I don't even know where I got them off the top of my head. I usually, I also use the Stickmaster Foam Dots and Squares. I use those as well. And I use Craft Foam from, Kids Craft Foam from um, Spotlight. But this one I wanted, because it was so, it was so uneven, I wanted to use these sticky strips. And boy, oh boy, they stuck and it's not moving. It's fantastic. Now... I'm using these, you can see them off to the side there. I have no clue where I got these from. They're cardboard and they're the right colour. So I thought I'm going to try and I'm getting down really low um, in my letters, in my letter selection. I think I've run out of A's, which I didn't realise until I got to the word bakery. Please apologise for um, my ding-donging. That's my daughter. Oh, she's, she's, okay, she's at school, but we actually, last, last night, we left a, a funny, we found an eyeball, a, not a real eyeball, you know, your big googly eyes, um, I'll pop it up on the Facebook group if you want to have a look and have a laugh, um, we found one, and, and we left it for my sister-in-law to find, and we just put a little I see you picture on it. And we put it in her office. It was hilarious. Anyway, we were having a great old chuckle about it. And I just received a message from my sister-in-law. And she said, did you leave me a surprise? And I'm like, and she was laughing. She, she saw the funny side of it. She's got a great sense of humor. And yeah, so that's what I sent it to my daughter. And I said, look, she found it. It took her less than an hour to find it. It was pretty funny. So she's just messaging through to say, ha, ha, ha. That's good. I see you. It was pretty funny. So thought I'd share that lighthearted moment. So now what I'm doing is, and I think I've worked out what's wrong with my white pens. One of my amazing subscribers have said that it maybe I'm not giving enough time for my ink to dry my oxides when I go over it with my Posca pen. And I think that's exactly what I've been doing with my Uniball Signo as well. So, look, see, it's working beautifully. <sighs> see, it just takes someone else looking at it. You might think you know everything. I know the tiniest little itty bitty portion of crafting. But you might think, I'm doing it right, I'm doing it right. Until someone else looks and says, maybe you're not giving enough time for the ink to dry. I don't think of it that way because if I put my fingers on it, it's not it's not transferring to my fingertips. Therefore, I think it's dry, but it's not. So I will try that sometime today when I do my next layout. So the border punch that I used is from Hobby and You Border Craft Punch and it's the diamonds one. I got that from Craft Online. Um, shimmers I've told you about. Uniball Signo pen. Uniball Signo broad white pen is what I'm using. Just to do a border. Another border around it 
the border. I think that helps it pop. Then I grabbed my Posca, white Posca pen and it worked perfectly on top of these letters. Just to add a point of difference, they looked a bit, the letters, I'm not a fan of these letters, they're not great, but I'm not going to waste them. So I went over them and drew a line in the center of them and, with white and it just makes them look a little bit better. So I did all that and um, yeah. So with this particular layout, oh, something I wanted to ask everybody, if you're still with me, would you like me to do more double pages, double page layouts? Would you, I had someone ask me this morning and um, I, I do double page layouts. I do them sometimes. I don't do them all the time. Uh, they are more time consuming. This is how I store my sequins, by the way. My daughter separated all my sequins for me. So I thought a little bit of sequins in here would be great. Now, this tool that I'm using, I do show you right at the very end. I bought it for $2.99 from Crafts Online. And it was just a universal chuck out thing. It, like just a, a, it's a sequence picking up thing it's got like a wax tip on it and the other end is empty you could put wax into the end of it but it's awesome it's so good for $2.99 and you just sort of touch the end of it and it makes it sticky again like just move it around a little bit and just move the wax see just like I did there so good so that's a handy little tool I give you a close-up of it right at the very end and that's about it guys so if you have any suggestions any particular videos that you would like to see me do any techniques you'd like to see me do I am all for it and just pop a message below I'm just showing you that see they're, they're they lift up obviously once I put them in the album and they have the page protector over them you won't see that and I'll be doing a layout share real soon as well um, in the next week so thank you so much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this video and it's something a little bit different and here's the close-up of the pen now I do put a bit of there you go so see one end is a metal tip you can't there's no, um, the bit in the middle is where it is. And that whole black tip is wax. So it's absolutely awesome for picking up little bits and pieces. And for $2.99, it was a bargain. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.